Hi and welcome back to Normski TV doing another transfer daily um, and uh, as you can see scratching one's head uh, first of all just to say uh, um, Joe Willock has gone to Newcastle signed a six-year deal he had his medical uh, today it's passed that and now has signed for Newcastle on a six-year deal um, he was um, he played for them uh, for six months on loan at the end of last season, scoring, uh, I believe, seven or eight goals um, in 14 games, uh, which is a, a good return. Um, obviously, he came back to Arsenal and the future was kind of unknown. It's uh, no secret that Steve Bruce wanted him back and uh, we didn't know really where we really stood with him. But he's now finally gone and uh, Halen, uh Child uh, comes up through the ranks, been with Arsenal from as a, a youngster, and now he's gone off to Newcastle, and we wish him all the best. Um, he's only 21 years old, so he's got so much ahead of him. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the deal, I'm not too sure. I don't know what the actual uh, uh, deal is, but we've in terms of what he's going to get his contract, but um, in terms of pay, but you know we got sold him for 25 million, so that's with add-ons. Um, 25 million. What are Arsenal going to do? with that money um now we're hearing that um we've uh, uh sort of stopped our interest now in james madison it looks like we're finding that deal difficult to do because you know leicester want more money um 60 million we're short by either 10 million or 20 million. So it depends on what who you listen to um and uh it looks like we're now turning our attentions to martin odegaard again now Fabrizio Romano yesterday in a tweet said that, you know, Odegaard was always a number one. So it just makes you wonder, you know, these reporters that are reporting on behalf of Arsenal, these, um, you know, one minute we're close to getting Madison, we've offered him that, we've offered him that. Just come out and tell us, just come out and tell us what is the real deal here. Um, Martin Odegaard, would I prefer him to James Madison? I would prefer James Madison because he knows the Premier League. Um... And for me, um, you know, he, I think he will score more goals as well. Um, yeah, he's 24, uh, further down the line, but it looks like um, Arsenal are now in talks with um, Real Madrid to sign Odegaard. It doesn't look like he's going to get any game time at all. He was left out of the match day squad. They're going to be playing Alves um, in their opening game. It doesn't, I don't even think he's even been given a number. So we just have to wait and see concerning that, um, see where that all goes. Um, but it, it's looking like they're in talks with them and we'll have to see where it lands us. So I know we're also linked with um, Usama Wal, wanted to take him on a, um, a loan deal. Um, you know, I, I really don't know what Arsenal coming or going. It really does baffle me to know what's really happening with regards to how we're doing our transfer business. We are right now, on and off the pitch are complete shambles. Yeah? Edu outsigning himself in wherever he is, um, and it just doesn't look good. It really doesn't look. We started the the the, the transfer window really well, you know, getting Tavares, getting Lokonga, getting Ben White, and then all of a sudden it's just gone like that. It's just gone like that because we're linked with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, and we're not pursuing. How's that Vestergaard? You know, the deal was done, just like that. You know, he's, he's gone to Leicester for fifteen million, just like that. And we are taking an age to sign players. You know, the Ramsdale situation, we talked about that, that, that collapse. Now, the money that you was going to spend on it, now you want to probably now looking at, at probably going for um, Neto from Barcelona on a loan deal. I, I really don't know, or I can't figure out. You're just either taking the fans for a ride and you're using your, your, your little um, puppets, um, um, the Arsenal reporters, to push out this 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 false narrative, you we either get in the player or we are not, um, and it, it just it's just backwards. It's like a, like a yo yo, just backwards and forward right now, and you know Edu Arteta, the the way everything has been run right now, it's a complete joke and a complete shambles. It's now turned into another rant instead of a transfer daily, but it is what it is. It is what it is, and. Um, I just don't know because we're not filling the positions that we were supposed to fill a right back backup goalkeeper 
a central midfielder, attacking midfielder. Even now, you know, obviously the situation with our uh, 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 front attackers, Lacazette and Bamiang. Lacazette is in his last year of his contract. He's going to be free to talk to clubs um, come January. What is going on with Arsenal? Bamiang, you know, I'm hearing little rumours that, you know, um, we're trying to offload him. I, listen, nobody's going to take a Bamiang who hasn't scored in none of the preseason in his last 11 games at the end of the season, scored one goal. £300,000 a week. No club is going to go after him. He's got two years, I think, left or so on his, 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 his contract or three. I'm not too sure. It is a complete joke the way Arsenal are doing business right now. It is a mess, an absolute mess from top to bottom. We're going into a game tonight, yeah, where Lacazette and Aubameyang will not be available because they're both sick. Now, I don't know what it is. Look into it. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Is there some sort of conspiracy? Is there something going on in the background that we don't know about? But how is it that both our strikers, our main strikers, are both not fit to play tonight? It's an absolute joke. Listen, it's looking like either Martinelli or Balogun are the ones that are going to start. We're hearing that it, it could be um, Balogun that could be um, starting to hope that this guy comes good. Um, you know, the pressure is on us. You know, we're going to on um, Brentford, their first time in the top flight in 70 plus years um, and they're going to give it, they're going to give it to us and I can just see an upset going on here. I know I said 2-1 in my prediction but I just feel an upset coming up here. Please, I hope I'm absolutely wrong about all of this. I really, really do. But Arsenal in this transfer window, the, 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 the positions that we're meant to be sorting out, we're not sorting out. We've still got Bellerin, we've still got Chambers here. We, you know, we've still got... Um, in terms of um in, in in terms of our midfield um el nene you know the, you know what is going on really really what is going on Kalasanach. all these players that we're meant to have shifted out what have we really done we've done nothing Torreira, lucas Torreira. i don't even think he's even in the country yet we are a mess going into this um, uh, Premier game tonight, Premier League game tonight. Just it's a, a complete mess. Uh, I'm really, really cheesed off with this club. And you know, you hear other uh, YouTubers saying that you know we're going on loan. Listen, mate, I'm 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 about to go on loan. I'm about to go on loan. I'm about to do a loan deal with Man City because right now, what I'm seeing Arsenal doing right now is just a complete joke. It's a complete and utter joke. I keep saying Arsenal. We are falling like a, a, a lead balloon. We're, we're going this way instead of meant to be improving. What's happened to all these promises? Mate, we're being lied to. I don't care what anybody say. We have been lied to and it's not acceptable. Not acceptable. We go into this season unprepared again. The only shining light is Ben White, Lukonga and, and Tavares in terms of how they've performed in pre-season. As for the rest, pfft, don't know, mate, really don't know. I'm at a loss. <laughs> Somebody just please, please tell me what is going on. But listen, I ain't gonna say no more. We've got a game tonight. Let's try and be positive. Uh, I know I don't sound positive, but let's try and be positive. Let's hope that Balogun, Martinelli, Saka, Smithrow, all these players will just need to turn up tonight. Um, and try and do the business. But listen, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Please like, subscribe if you're new, share, and I will see you on the next Transfer Daily. Please look out for the player ratings as well. Take care.